Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello, dear students. Uh, this is Dr. Mona Simalti from HNB Garwal University, Srinagar Garwal. Dear students, welcome all of you in this module. Today we are going to discuss about enemas. So I hope you have enjoyed my previous module. So let's quickly see uh, what is there in today's learning outcome. So dear students, after going through from this module, uh, you will be able to know about enemas, uh, different types of enemas in detail and uh, the procedure uh, for enema, okay, and evaluation parameters of the same. Okay, so So dear students, uh, anima, let us introduce uh, to anima. Uh, an anima is an, it is basically an introduction of fluid into the lower bowel uh, through the rectum for the purpose of uh, cleansing or to introduce the medication or the nourishment. So the most uh, important function of anima is to relieve the constipation basically, okay, at the bowel cleaning for uh, and sometimes for the other medical examination purposes also, okay. So uh, different types of anima, they may possess anti-almenthic, nutritive, sedative, stimulating effect. So uh, these uh, are the different categories of anima uh, in pharmaceuticals which are given to the patient depending on the condition of the patient. Functions of anima. Uh, there are list of functions of anima uh, say like to stimulate uh, defecation and uh, to treat the constipation which is very important and the primary function of anima facilitate in softening of heart Fecal matter and it helps in destroying the intestinal parasites to relieve the gaseous uh, distension and protect and soothe the mucous membrane of intestine. Okay, and sometimes for administration of some medication, including anesthesia, and for administering fluid and nutrition and to relieve the inflammation, okay, and uh, to reduce the body temperature, okay, for medical diagnosis. So these are few functions of enema. Now classification of enema, moving to the classification of enema. Evacuant enema, simple evacuant enema, medicated uh, evacuant enema, okay, uh, and cold enema. Evacuant enema, we can classify it into two ways, simple and medicated. Medicated, uh, we can describe oil enema, purgative, and the helminthic carminative enema under medicated evacuant enema and cold enema. Okay, retained enema, stimulant enema, nutrient, emollient, sedative, anesthetic enema. Okay, so these are different classes of enema. Now what is the purpose of simple evacuant enema? The simple evacuant enema, it stimulates the defecation and treats constipation. Okay, relieves uh, gaseous uh, 
detention and by stimulating the peristalsis uh, movement and it relieves the urine uh, retention by reflex stimulation of the bladder and uh, stimulates uh, okay it stimulates the urine contraction okay and it helps in the childbirth and the one more function of evacuant enema is to clean the bowel prior to x-ray studies visualization of bowels and the before surgery okay so uh, to carry out all these procedures so this is the purpose of simple evacuant enema so basically uh, so uh, this slide says that simple evacuant enema is used for certain special purpose either for diagnosis or to carry out the surgical before it is required before to carry out the surgical procedure okay now moving to the a uh, solution used for simple evacuant enema soap and, soap and water okay soap jelly 50 ml to 1 liter of water normal saline sodium chloride 1 tablespoon of half liter of water okay basically and that uh, uh, temperature what what will be the temperature of solution for adult it is uh, uh, it, it is in degree fahrenheit 105 to 110 and for children it is 100 okay and the, what is the amount of solution which is used for simple evacuant enema the amount which is used for adult it is 500 to 1000 ml okay for children uh, it is from 100 uh, sorry 250 to 500 ml and for infants it is 250 ml or less so this is the volume of solution used for simple evacuant enema all right now moving to oil enema oil enema uh, these enemas are used when the person is suffering from severe constipation all right so before the first bowel movement after operation on the rectum or perineum okay so after some uh, surgical operation when the patient is needed to pass the bowel first time uh, this oil enema is used and for avoiding uh, straining and injury to the sutures or the wound after surgical operation so it should be retained for half an hour to 1 hour to soften the uh, fecal matter basically so it is an allowed by application of soap and water enema to open the bowel movement solution uh, for oil enema is used olive oil okay uh, ginger oil oil or sweet oil castor oil olive oil in the 1 to 2 ratio and the amount of solution to be used it is 115 to 175 ml and temperature of solution 100 degree fahrenheit okay this is in case of oil enema now moving to the next type that is purgative enema so this causes the content of bowel to con uh, to contact actively and evacuates it content right so it irritates the mucus lining and stimulates peristalsis which causes the evacuation of bowel so the stretching uh, stretching of the intestine uh, due to this inflow of fluid causes the intestine to contract and leads to the evacuation of bowel so this is about the purgative enema okay Now, purgative enema. The solution used for purgative enema: pure glycerin, glycerin water, okay, and uh, glycerin and castor oil in the ratio of one is to one ratio, 
and magnesium sulfate 62 120 ml with the sufficient amount of water to dissolve it okay and magnesium sulfate glycerin and water in 1 is to 2 is to 3 ratio okay so uh, these are the different solution used for purgative anuna so let us quickly see again pure glycerin glycerin and water glycerin and castor oil okay so 1 is to 2 glycerin and water glycerin and castor oil 1 is to 1 ratio magnesium sulfate okay and water right and magnesium sulfate glycerin and water again so these are the solutions used for purgative anemia okay anthelmintic anemia is given to destroy and expel out the worm from intestine okay before the treatment the bowel is clean by application of soap water enema so that the drug comes in contact with the worms and kills the worms and the lining of the, uh, the it cleanses basically the lining of intestine the treatment is given until the worms are destroyed so it is anthelmintic enema solution which is used the infusion of quassia okay 15 gram of chips to 600 ml of water okay hypertonic uh, hypertonic uh, saline solution a uh, saliva uh, saline solution sorry hypertonic saline solution okay sodium chloride 60 ml with 600 ml of water okay so and the what what is the volume is 250 ml next is carminative enema so these are given to relieve the uh, gaseous detention uh, of the abdomen by causing the peristalsis and expulsion of blood and and feces uh, so it is given uh, as simple evacuant okay it's so a simple to uh, uh, for uh, to relieve basically the gas uh, distension in the abdomen so this is a uh, carminative generally for kids uh, no generally for infants it is used carminative anima infants uh, of age below six months okay so uh, uh, in case uh, there is a severe problem okay and the solution terpentine uh, 8 to 16 ml of terpentine mixed thoroughly with the 600 to 1200 ml of soap solution okay milk and molasses that is granular sugar 90 to 30 ml of molasses well mixed with the equal quantity of warm milk okay astringent enema astringent enema it contracts the tissue and the blood vessels checks the bleeding and inflammation reduces the mucus discharge and provides the temporary relief in the inflamed area so it is given in colitis and dysentery usually in the form of rectal and colonic irrigation okay the solution is allowed to run slowly and return quickly to avoid any distension, pain and irritation of the inflamed wall. So this is about astringent enema. Solution which is used for astringent enema is tannic acid 2 grams to uh, 600 ml of water, alum. 30 grams to 600 ml um, water okay silver nitrate 2 percent silver nitrate which is dissolved in water and stable water temperature and solution which is given as hot as the person can with stand. okay in case of astringent enema cold enema which is given to decrease the body temperature in hyperpyrexia and heat stroke okay hyperpyrexia there is one sudden when the, there is a rise in the body temperature and heat stroke so it is given in the form of colonic irrigation and uh, the complications uh, may include uh, the hypothermia and 
abdominal cramps in case of cold enema. Okay, retained enema, an enema that is used to provide the medication, nourishment, or anesthetic value. Okay, so it is made from the fluid which doesn't cause peristalsis. Okay, a small uh, amount of solution it is typically used, which is in adult. Example from 100 to 250 mm. A retention enema is also uh, uh, used to stimulate the bowels, but the solution uh, for that is used to intended to help in the body for 15 minutes or more. Next is stimulant enema. So stimulant enema, it is given in the treatment of shock and collapse. So it is sometimes given in the case of poisoning, opium poisoning in case like coffee, so coffee enema is given, black coffee, uh, one tablespoon coffee powder to 300 ml of water. Okay, so these are some solution you can see on the slides which are given and the temperature is uh, maintained at 108 to uh, 110 degree Fahrenheit and 180 to 240 ml. Sedative enema, okay. Sedative enema are used to induce the sleep in the person. The paralyzed, chloral hydrate and potassium bromide, these are two drugs which are used as prescribed by the doctor. Next is emollient enema. Emollient, uh, uh, this is an introduction basic Kali, a solution into the rectum, introduction of a solution into the rectum for the purpose of checking the diarrhea or uh, relieving the irritation on an inflamed mucous membrane. The solution starts opium, opium to 2, uh, 2 ml, 1 to 2 ml is added to 12, uh, 120 to 180 ml of the starch mucilage or rice water. The starch uh, mucilage or, or alone the starch mucilage uh, 120 to 180 ml and the temperature is 100 to 105 degree Fahrenheit is used in emollient enema. Anesthetic enema okay it is a retention enema okay containing an anesthetic drug to produce anesthesia in the patient okay uh, so you can take any uh, example of anesthetic Anima, nutrient anima. It is a type of retention anima that supplies the food and fluids to the body. The fluid selection it depends upon the ability of the colon to absorb it because when we are going to give any nutritive anima so we have to first see that what kind of nutrition uh, can be given and it can be well absorbed by the colon so nutrient anima is particularly useful in the conditions like hemophilia which makes the iv infusion difficult uh, or undesirable sometimes so in that case uh, when there is uh, when uh, we See that the IV infusion is not working. So in that case, the nutritive enema it is used for the patients. A solution normally saline, glucose two to five percent, okay, and peptonized milk, okay. Now amount which is used eleven hundred to seventeen hundred in twenty four hours, okay, can be given at four hourly interval now uh, moving to the another so dear students till now in this module we discussed the list of different types of enema and their volume the solution uh, what are the different solution used for the different types of enema and their volume and the temperature required for them okay now moving to the methods of giving enema there are four types of methods anima cannon tube funnel and catheter method and glycerin syringe and catheter method 
and drip method. So we will discuss uh, these methods in uh, these methods one by one. So let's see first using anima canon tube method. So a tray containing the disposable gloves, water soluble lubricant, bath thermometer, soap and water, toilet tissues, anima can, tubing and uh, clamp. So these are the requirement for Canon tube method. So appropriate uh, size and uh, for uh, the requirements as per the age group of the patient. OK, so uh, this is the prior. Uh, exercise uh, before this anima tube and can method. Temperature of the solution uh, in case of adults, it is 0 0.105 to 110 uh, Fahrenheit. And the amount of solution, it is also different uh, depending on the age. In case of adult, it is 750 to 1000. Adolescence, it is 500 to 750 ml school age. Uh, is for the patients of school A 300 to 500, infants 150 to 250 ml, and so as you can see, uh, as you can see on the slide, that different uh, amount, different type, different volumes are used for different age group of patients. Now procedure, you have to assess the first condition of the patient that the about uh, you have to consider the last bowel movement, novel bowel, uh, bowel pattern and mobility and uh, you have to determine the level of uh, consciousness, understanding, you have to explain the procedure to the patient. So this way uh, this is carried out. So next is funnel and catheter method. So small animas which are to be expelled are given using uh, by by using this method that is funnel and catheter method the oil is kept warm by placing the container in the bowl of warm water okay so uh, uh, the oil anima is to be retained basically for two to six hours to soften the fecal matter so it may be then followed by the soap and water anima to expel the matter. So this is funnel and catheter method. Next is glycerin syringe and catheter method. A glycerin syringe along with the rubber catheter attached to its nozzles are used. The air is expelled prior to the administration of the fluid. So this method is particularly it is useful for giving anima to children. Last is drip method. So what are the things required for drip method? See for drip method require a reservoir which can be a, an anima or a bottle with the cork, tubing attached with the reservoir, okay. Drip and uh, Murphy drip and a clamp, a fine catheter, okay. So all these things are needed for drip method. So the procedure, it is a retention enema, uh, administration of the retention enema is done by the drip method. The main purpose is to retain the solution and uh, the, the main purpose is to retain the solution. Okay, so uh, the flow is regulated and uh, uh, the retention enema is preceded by the simple enema to keep the bowel free of any fecal method. So this is drip method. So dear students, we have discussed uh, four methods uh, of giving anima and we have also discussed the different classes of uh, different uh, different types of anima in detail in this module. Uh, let us see now few examples. Uh, Sulfasalazine rectal enema is used for the treatment of ulcerative colitis and it may be prepared by dispersing uh, the tablets in 250 ml of water okay and uh, barium sulfate enema containing 120 gram of barium sulfate uh, 100 ml of acacia mucilage and starch enema to make 500 ml Starch enema can be used 
uh, alone or as a vehicle for the other form of medication. So a thin paste is made by triturating 30 gram of powder starch in 200 ml of cold water. Then the sufficient boiled water is added to make the 1000 ml of enema. So this is followed by a reheating the preparation. And one more example you can take the sodium phosphate enema USP contains 6 gram of biphasic sodium phosphate uh, uh, heptahydrate and 16 gram of monobasic sodium phosphate monohydrate in 100 ml. Okay. So dear student, these are the references. I just go through from the references uh, for better understanding of this topic. Now, moving to the summary of this module. So, dear students, we have discussed in this module about enema. Okay. Uh, the introduction to enema, um, the mainly the, the, what are the different functions and uh, I have introduced to the different classes of enema, different types of its uses. Okay. And uh, it's classification what are the solutions uh, used for each class and the volume and the temperature are needed uh, to give the enema of the different classes okay and we also discussed about different methods of giving enemas there are four methods okay so i have i have not discussed this method in detail so this is a homework for you dear students that Please do read them in detail. So this is about anima and we have also discussed few examples. So dear student, just uh, remember at least two examples of anima uh, to write in the examination. So that's all for this module and uh, stay tuned for more videos. And thank you so much for watching this video.